So I think it's uh, an intriguing situation because we don't know exactly how this will play and a lot of the people that I speak with are saying there's too much uncertainty around the process at the moment, we're not really awfully sure. So there's bound to be a market reaction straight away, um, which, which is kind of just a sort of, oh, my goodness, what on earth is going on reaction. And then I think my clients are saying that they're expecting things to slow down a little bit and actually calm down because there's a lot of plausible deniability here. Um, there's, there's a sense that what Donald Trump is doing is actually um, a, being able to kick it back to his key themes, which are um, that he wants Europeans to pay their way in Europe and particularly in defending Ukraine, that he's got, um, he's got the arguments on a witch hunt. He's, he's saying that he's got a lot of evidence behind him to say that the whistleblower isn't right. So there's a lot of plausible deniability here. So there's a sense that maybe this is desperation tactics by the Democrats that actually coming through on all of this um, is, is a long period of time where the Democrats have wanted to impeach Donald Trump and this is kind of the last ditch before so 2020 elections. you're elections. a specialist on supply chains and trade and yep. you've just written a, another book on yep. trade I believe yep, which we, trade. Yep, we yep. should just promote that for you, uh, brush out and buy it, yep. available in all good bookstores now. But the, I guess the, 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 the parallel track issue is does this undermine the president's ability now to show the Chinese that he is a strong leader and he will prevail in this trade battle. I think this is the most important consequence and fallout from all of this. So what you have to look at is actually what's going on between the US and China, and you could argue Russia as well, is this kind of battle for a new digital paradigm that's going on. You've got trade that's actually being used as a proxy in a power struggle between these three big big powers and that what's happening now is that you've got um, President Trump domestically is significantly weaker while he's going through this process and Xi is in a position where he can say well you know I can bide my time I don't need to do this right now I can slow everything down and actually you look at what they're doing in technology you look at what they're doing in supply chains actually it's very very strong indeed. I've seen one market reaction to the impeachment inquiry, which is that if the inquiry looks like ending his re-election chances in 2020, he may throw caution to the wind and harden his stance on trade. And that's one market interpretation. But if that runs and there is a view in the markets that perhaps uh, this is just a weapon that Trump will try and use to almost shore up his tenure in office, yeah. uh, to leave a mark on history or help re-election chances, then it's a problem for investors, isn't it? Because we've seen that optimism wax and wane uh, impacting markets. The, 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 absolutely, for investors, the trade war is a really important thing going on at the moment. They don't know how to interpret the sentiment. One minute, everybody's back around the table. The next minute, they're all falling apart. And what Trump can do at the moment is actually deflect. So all the way through, this is a little bit like the psychology exper experiment with the gorilla, you know, where you're watching basketball passes going on and somebody comes on and thumps their chest with the gorilla and nobody, 48% of the people watching don't see the gorilla. He can do the same thing with trade. So he's, he can deflect away, away from domestic politics, away from re-election, focus on trade, make America great again. That's what he did with his speech yesterday at the United Nations, you know, very much focused on, on that. And what that means is that people still think he's there making America great again, so he, he retains his electoral base. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.